this fair play 2333 and i want to give a salute to all my cinema cronies welcome back to the power book multiverse and cinema show where you get the latest in power universe and cinema breakdown I, I, I just want the life that in this can't afford we whip, we whipping them babies once you can't afford not looking for beef but some you can't avoid and if i'm on a mission is you on the voyage and Power Book 2 goes season 4, the finale. Noma will actively go on a hunt for Tyreek. Now, why do I have these two separate screenshots on my thumbnail? Because they both are actively in the same club. Now, I don't think that this is club truth, but we can tell by the strobe lights in the back. We see the pink in the back. We see the pink shadow over Tyreek's face. We see the pink shadow in the back of Noma to the right of the picture. And that lets me know that this is the same club. So what ends up happening, it doesn't have to be the exact same time. Now, Tyreek could actually be sitting there smoking a hookah with Brayden. He sees Noma and he break it out the back or he sees Noma and he talked to Noma. But Noma can't do anything to Tyreek in front of a club full of people. So she basically tell him the next time she see him, it won't be, he won't see her coming and it'll be the end of him, right? So at this point, Tyreek can go and... Uh, say, you know what? It's getting too hot for me out here. I have to come up with a plan to keep myself safe when I'm not caught on a surprise like this. Now, the other theory that I have, this could be the exact same club and Tyreek can be in there at one point and then Noma can come in there and she can just miss him. He could have just left or he could have got word from somebody that Noma was out front and she was on her way in and he snuck out the back. Whatever the case may be, Noma is definitely going to be on the hunt for Tyreek. She's going to try to make him feel pain. And I think part of it is going to come because um, the shooting that he did in the warehouse, but also at some point she's going to find out that he helped Obi get his people to the States. And she didn't want Obi to get his people to the States because with Obi people not in her control, that means that Noma is has no control over Obi and now he's unpredictable. She don't know if he's for her or against her. She don't know if he gonna follow her rules or if he's not. That's the biggest thing she's trying to she uses uh, manipulation and um, things to control people. And that's how most people in positions of power do. They use money. They use resources. They use things that you may need, things that you may want. They use women. They use cars. They use those things to keep you under their control. But once you have your own or once you have what you want, now you start looking at life a little bit differently. So Obi can go from having his family from under her thumb and he can start saying, you know what? I'm noticing all the bad things she did to me. I'm noticing all the manipulative tactics she did. I'm noticing that she never really cared for me, but she was just using me. And I've seen her use people in this capacity again. I mean, Obi was there when she actually killed her ex-husband when he was no use of her. And a person who kills people once they are no used to them you have to expect that they'll turn on you at some point now i did a video called tyreek dreaming or uh did ghost drug him now that was basically about tyreek being in the club with all of those lights and now when we look at this situation we looking at these two thumbnails we can see that both of these thumbnails have the same lights as the one where tyreek was wearing the gray suit with the black tie and he was holding his gun up in the air. So um, I think that is all tied together. I think all of these three scenes happened at different points. Now, the way that Braden turned around, I'm kind of leaning towards they see somebody walking in a club and you see Tyreek being super focused. So maybe they meeting somebody there. It could be a possibility that they meeting Ty, uh, two bit there. Now, another thing about this scene, um, this looks like this may be the club where we see Kane fighting with his shirt off. This may be some type of underground club. This is also appears to be the club where we see Tyreek and Brayden walk in and they drop all that money on the floor. So maybe they here to meet with the owner of the club about taking their last bit of money and getting the club to be able to wash their drug money or to be able to to start something legitimate that they can move forward with. It's a lot of different scenarios here. And I know I'm going over a lot of different theories in this one video, but they all tied to this club and they all tied to trying to tie this club together because obviously all of these lights inside of these um, 
Power Book 2 ghost trailers are tied together. And I told y'all that. Hey, uh, when y'all get these ghost trailers, they tie a lot of the stuff in together. You just have to kind of piece it together. Now, um, just because we tie it together don't mean it's going to go how we think it's going to go. It just means that we can tie it together. But what do y'all think um, about this club situation? Do y'all think that Noma run up, run up on him while he's actually in the club at that time? Um, I think he do actually buy this club. This may not even be truth that he's buying. This may be another club or maybe somebody else opened truth back up and they doing something different with it and Tyreek come to buy it. There's so many different scenarios, but we do also have a picture floating around. Uh, Brayden is in some type of suit and he's standing in the same uh pink light so it's a possibility that they do that leans to let me think that they do but i'm gonna do another video on that anyway if you have facebook i need you to go join power book multiverse and cinema group salute to everybody is 500 um milestone we reached it um y'all helped me reach it i couldn't have reached it without y'all salute to anybody who has joined the power book multiverse and cinema in any capacity now um, Brayden, what will Brayden role be in it? I think Brayden still has a clean name. Even with all that Brayden did, Brayden has the luxury of being seen as still a Western. So even though his family name don't mean what it once meant, in certain circles, people will still be willing to work with him. Why? Because he has old money. Whether his money is gone or not, a lot of people don't know that, especially if Brayden is able to keep up his image. Now, Brayden has the luxury of being able to go to people and say, yeah, my money left in that instant, but I'm still a Wesson. We still have this business. We still have that business. We still have stocks. We still, et cetera, right? So Brayden still has a strong possibility of having influence over things and having friendships that Tyreek just won't be able to get because his dad is seen as a drug dealer. Tyreek is seen as somebody who's killed somebody. Um, Tyreek is seen as a black criminal. Let's just be honest. So um, I'm looking forward to season four and we're about three weeks away from season four. And um, y'all know I'm going to start ramping up these breakthroughs as different things drop. Um, I don't remember when Force come back. Not going to lie. I don't really care when Force come back, but I'm going to cover it for the sake of the channel and for the sake of y'all. Now, if y'all would be so kind as to drop down in the comments and let me know some of y'all theories. And remember, just like y'all can disagree with my theories, I can disagree with y'all theories. So let's not nobody get sensitive about me saying I don't agree or I don't like that or that's not going to happen. Because guess what? It's theories at the end of the day. So just like my theory could be wrong, y'all have to give y'all self the grace to be wrong as well. I think the only thing different about my theory is that I watch these trailers over and over and over. I go back and I watch different clips from the show. Um, I go back and try to add context clues to it. And even when I had my boy Marco, he be helping me do research or whatever. And when he has sent me something, I said, hey, bro, uh, where is the rest of the video at? Like what? Because I don't know what the context of this is. And I can't give if you send me a two second clip or a, a five second clip, I can't give you I can't give an accurate um, assessment of it. And I can't give an accurate theory because that five seconds, what happened before those five seconds? What happened after those five seconds? That means a lot to my theory. So when y'all look at my theories and a lot of my theories end up being accurate and my predictions end up being accurate, it's because I'm actually looking at the totality of the situation. I'm not just saying, yo, Tyreek is in this club with those purple lights and Noma is in those clubs with those purple lights. It must be the exact same time. No, I'm not one of those people who do that. Um, I try to look at everything revolving around it. But anyway, man, um, salute to y'all for helping me reach that 500 person milestone on Facebook. That group is called Power Book Multiverse and Cinema. And um, if you're from Chicago and you want to get more Chicago safety, safety tips, um, Chicago do's and don'ts is something that you should tune in to. Um, on Instagram at F A I R P L A Y underscore two three three three. Salute to all the cinema cronies. Check out the original Chicago Hood web series, No Time to Play Fair, Chicago Do's and Don'ts episode. It's out now, written by, co directed by, and starring me, Fairplay 2333.